Hi. I'm Kuniyuki Takahashi from Preferred Networks in Japan. I shall talk about uncertainty aware self supervised target mass grasping of granular foods. The food packing or bento packing industry requires workers to pick and place a target amount of food by hand from a food tray and place it in the box. Menus are diverse and change frequently and seasonally. The difficulty in automation stems from the fact that there is significant inter category variation and intra category irregularity in shape, size, and volume. Secondly, Granular foods are particulate and behave in a deformable manner. Data collection is challenging because food may spoil or be damaged due to excessive handling, moisture, temperature, etc. The manipulation of granular foods remains relatively unexplored, and most work in the industry is manually picked and placed by humans. In designing a system, we had three requirements. First is the ability to handle a variety of deformable and irregularly shaped food. This is achieved by a learning based system that uses deep learning and learns directly from real world RGBD images. Second is the ability to grasp any user defined target mass without additional training. This is achieved by training a network to predict the mass of grasped food for several candidates across the tray. The most likely grasp to result in the user requested mass is chosen and executed. Third is the ability to adapt to new food in a short of time. This is achieved by estimating the uncertainty of the model and utilizing the most reliable prediction to compensate for the small data set. To summarize, our contributions are as follows. 1. Proposal of a learning based system for grasping a user specified mass of various granular food with automatic data labeling. 2. A self supervised method for modeling its predictive uncertainties. 3. A system that chooses grasps by leveraging model uncertainty to reduce the required amount of training data and improve accuracy. The idea behind our method is that we extract patches of RGBD across the image and pass it through our mass estimation model to estimate the mass the robot picks up if a grasp is executed at that point. We then filter the grasp candidates that are close to our target mass. For these candidates, we pass them through our uncertainty evaluator model and choose the one that has the lowest uncertainty. Or highest confidence in being correct. Both the mass estimation model and the two uncertainty estimation models we propose take cropped RGB and depth patches. We adopt two methods from reinforcement learning literature that were originally proposed to improve exploration the error estimation model and the random network distillation. Both these methods measure different kinds of error. Which I will explain later, which we interpret as uncertainty. To clarify, uncertainty is the likelihood that the actual grasped mass of the robot will be the same as the prediction. Lower uncertainty implies more confidence that its prediction matches reality. Our mass estimation model is a fairly standard deep learning regression pipeline. Input RGB and depth images are passed through convolution layers and then concatenated before passing them to fully connected layers. The output is a scalar Y dash, which is the estimated grasp mass in grams. This is calculated through a mean square error loss with the ground truth Y. We chose to optimize a regression loss since our data sets are small and the output is a continuous range of values. Our error estimation, or EE model, is a small modification from the mass estimation model. On top of predicting the estimated grasp mass as before, it also learns to predict the estimated error, 
which is a prediction of the absolute error in prediction and ground truth of the mass estimation model. The idea behind this method is that inputs that are drawn from the same distribution of the training set will have predictably low losses, assuming the mass estimation model is well trained. Inputs that are very unlike the training data will lead to large error predictions. In a similar vein, the random network distillation model consists of two identical, randomly initialized networks. The target network F is frozen, and its weights are random and fixed. The predictor network F- is trainable and is trained to predict the random output of the target network. This is done with an MSE loss. Like with the error estimation model, the idea is that the estimated error is small for inputs similar to the training set and large otherwise. Data collection setup consists of two food trays placed on top of scales and a Sawyer robot with a custom end effector. Our RGBD camera is mounted overhead. The scales allow us to do automatic data labeling. As can be seen in the videos, it picks up food from one tray and drops it in the second. The difference in the weights measured by the scales give us the training label. It takes 12.5 seconds for one pick and place round. We switch the pick and place trays so data can be collected autonomously and infinitely. This is an example of the RGB and depth maps while collecting coffee, rice, oatmeal, and peanuts data. Surface details for coffee beans and peanuts are very difficult to make out simply from RGB images, but the associated depth map allows us to identify changes when a grasp is performed. This is a histogram demonstrating the frequency a specific mass coffee beans and rice was grasped during random data collection. Since coffee beans are relatively light, they span a smaller range than rice. We split the training data into data sets of size 50, 100, 200, 500, and 1000. We see that for small data sets like size 50, there are some values, such as 60 grams, where not a single sample was a part of the training set. Methods trained with classification would be incapable of interpolating well and would not compensate for these missing values. In fact, this 60 grams is one of our evaluated targets, and we show how our method can interpolate well. We compared our baseline which is simply a mass estimation model, to EE and RND, which augment the baseline's grasp selection with uncertainty estimates. We evaluate the success rate for several target masses for coffee beans and rice. These targets were chosen to correspond to the mean, and one standard deviation above and below the mean, for the training dataset. We report success rates when the grasped mass is within 5% and 10% of the target. We see that both EE and RND tend to outperform the baseline, shown in bold, especially for small datasets of size 50 and 100. The difference, however, diminishes as the dataset size becomes larger. We perform additional experiments on oatmeal and peanuts, which have quite different dynamics and physical properties to the rice and beans. We show that using uncertainty methods when selecting grasp points significantly improves results, even when using the same gripper. Our motivation is to introduce a robot for the food packing industry which deals with various foods and of which, menus are diverse and change frequently. For our approach, we use model uncertainty estimation to compensate for shortage of training data, and a data collection system with automatic data labeling. As a result, we improve grasp accuracy of user-specified target masses using smaller datasets. 
Our methods work robustly for several foods with different dynamics while using the same gripper. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>